All right, all right, all right. Let's get today started, guys. So my name is Marcus. You're watching Nama Chance Vlogs. Welcome to another video here on YouTube. Let's get today started. So, um, previous to the last video, I told you guys we're gonna be installing a turbo kit. That's what we're doing here today, guys. So, um, I'm here alone by myself right now. I'm waiting on Cal to get here from Kalinga. Hopefully, he gets here soon. Um, he's gonna help me, or maybe not. I don't know. I'll <laughs> to Cal. Um, he's kind of here for like moral support, kind of just to kick it. Now look who got here perfect timing guys because i need help taking off the hood <laughs> she got me real quick just to pull it off i just don't want to deal with it you feel me you want to say hi or man <laughs> guys rate her face from one to ten how fat is it <laughs> all right so i always tell her her face is hella fat she has like a double chin going on but um she's working on her face she'd be oh <laughs> nah but um yeah she didn't have me pull off the hood real quick thank you josh for coming you came perfect timing i just pulled off the bumper Hi guys, so next we are going to be pulling off the intake, we need a 10 millimeter here, we pull this off of the valve cover there, and all we need is a 11 millimeter here, so a 10 and 11, and this thing will prop right off, that'll be that, then we got the header after. Okay, so um, I already got into the car, jacked it up. Show them, Charles. Oh, I so. Okay, bring it back. Okay, so Charles is a little bit slow, so bear with her. Um, but <laughs> we disconnected the header from the, um, what is it called? The uh, test right. pipe. So um, now all we gotta do, point. We're gonna take off the header now. So. Just like that, header comes off. I'll shout your foot. All right, guys, look who showed up. What's up, guys? My main squeeze right there. <laughs> so we got Cal here. He's in the building. He's already helping me uh, with the process of installing the turbo. You guys saw we removed the header. We removed the intake. Um, we removed the hood, bumper, and now we're starting to uh, install everything already. So we already got the uh, some of the turbo piping in. So that's going to be for the uh, intake there. We got the blow off valve on already. And then uh, we're kind of getting the position of the uh, intercooler here. <clears throat> As you guys can see, we already have this side uh, mounted in. Everything is tied up on this side. All we have to do is get the mounting position for the bottom of the radiator. Um, it has two uh, mounting brackets. I don't know if you guys can see that down below, but um, like Roddy Rich, uh, <laughs> we gotta drill two holes, one on this side, one on the other side. We'll be good there. Then all we have to do is uh, install the uh, turbo with the manifold and We'll get the rest of the piping in. But for now, me and Cal. What's up, guys? What do you have to tell them? Tell them something cool about yourself. I'm fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's true, though. Like, he's really, really funny. Uh, me and him have been hanging out for like seven years now, eight years? Yeah. So around there. Um, we went to high school together. Actually, fun fact, we went to high school together and um, we did not talk. <laughs> huh. we, didn't. we didn't talk one bit not once we didn't say hi to each other nothing until uh we got out of high school we started working together and then here rest is history <laughs> yeah here we are manifold is in along with the turbo wow. and all we got to do is put the dump tube as well um do the feed line return line okay. everything else is pretty much in this side's in um we have to uh tighten up the brackets down here as well we have to drill the holes we haven't done that yet so we just have to sitting on a uh, jack stand me and cal are doing our damn thing what's up guys yes sir yeah see we got a grinder slash cutter in our hands and we have to cut the uh bumper Chug, chug. <laughs> so um all we're cutting is this this piece here i kind of already have most of it done so i just have this edge to finish up um just want to show you guys what we're doing at the moment so this is what we're finishing up all right so let's cut this up All right, 
Hopefully this is all we need to cut. Hopefully I don't need to cut more of that bumper because I don't want to. But um, I think it should fit. Okay. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Okay, take half of this. Alright guys, so um, so our okay. issue is this whole, this pretty much this whole piece here. So from here, we're gonna cut like pretty much all this this piece out. We're gonna make like a gap in there. Same thing on the other side. That way we can get the uh, intercooler piping to fit. And uh, we should be set to go from there and the bumper will fit. Okay guys, so you guys saw Cal uh, hanging out with me. He helped me cut most of the bumper. He helped me um, do a lot of the piping, but we had to redo all, a lot of that stuff. So I have bits and pieces of clips that I'm gonna throw in as best as I can here. So um, I did redo the manifold just because the manifold was not fitting with my radiator. So uh, what does the manifold have to do with the radiator? The manifold was um, bringing the turbo too close, the downpipe too close to the radiator. Um, I did not like that. So I had a cast iron manifold that I bought probably like a year and a half ago. I just had it sitting. I had not opened it until like today in the morning. Even though they don't have the key. What? Yeah. You sure turn on if they don't have the key? Yeah. So I did that, um, got the manifold installed with the turbo, clocked the turbo, I got this wastegate on, I'll show you guys bits and clips of that. Okay, so I'm gonna open this thing up real quick, just like this. This package pretty damn well, and uh, the packaging is pretty nice actually. So, comes with springs here, of course. Comes with some fittings as well for the wastegate. <clears throat> okay, so. I got both of them here side by side. Um, if I put these together, this one is a little bit smaller. Hopefully it clears the hood. Um, that's all we need. I need. I think I needed a tad bit. I think that's gonna give us our tad bit of space that we needed. So hopefully this is gonna work out for us. But um, yeah, that's the wastegate there. Okay, so we got the wastegate mounted right now. Um, we put the dump tube facing this way just because it's gonna be easier to come into the downpipe. Um, we're gonna probably make a hole, drill a hole in here and have the downpipe come into it, into the exhaust. Now we get to mount the turbo onto the head. We're gonna get this manifold in so you guys can see what it's gonna look like. Put these two bolts on just so it can hold the manifold turbo in place. Now you guys can see what this thing actually looks like. Um, hopefully this flipping thing <laughs> clears the uh, hood. Yeah, that's like almost flush right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, also my radiator was giving me issues like I told you guys with the downpipe. So I got that done. It's also giving me like, it was giving me like a little bit of clearance issues with the um, turbo itself. So I'll show you guys where here. So that's gonna sit like too close to the radiator there. So I clocked that. So that way it wouldn't uh, bother the radiator. The radiator wouldn't bar bother it. Also got a slim fan on my radiator. I'll show you guys how I mounted that. I did order hardware as well. And I don't know if I filmed that right for you guys, but then just apply a little bit of pressure so that way these things can sit. Uh-oh, come on, boy. Okay, just like that. Okay, now final touch is going to be these here. So um, just put this through the hole, just like so. And this is just like a zip tie. So, so. go all the way down, all the way in. Just like so, that one's all the way in. Okay, the fan isn't going anywhere, so you guys see that? Nowhere. So, all we're gonna do is gonna cut these. Um, piping is pretty much done on, on the passenger side. You guys can see there, this comes from like a, like a little elbow here to a 45 into like a 90, or I don't know what my angles are, but I'm not good at angles or math, fun fact. So, um, it comes up here into another angle into the piping here, into the intake manifold, and you're good there. This side here has some work to do just because I did change the manifold like I mentioned. Issue with that was um, the downpipe, like I said, dump tube, and um, also our wastegate was too big. The prior wastegate was way too big, so this one. Um, so like, I'll try to give you guys like a example there. Ah uh, yeah, for sure, I'm gonna clear the, um, 
hood hopefully <laughs> hopefully i'll clear the damn hood but um that's the issue where we're having with the wastegate once once i'm done with the downpipe i will be able to figure out how my return is going to be ran and then how my uh intercooler piping is going to be finished our radiator also has to get mounted in i got to get this, the brackets welded in um our return has to be um mounted or screwed in and then our return as well and that will almost conclude what we have to do with that also our uh, gauges need to be connected our vacuum lines need to be ran and our ecu needs to be tuned on a base map or uh, our ecu needs to be our ecu needs to have a base map on it for it to run also our injectors and that's going to be the last of everything guys so injectors won't go in may, or maybe we'll go in if i could figure out the base map thing they'll go in if not then they won't and i'll just trailer the car to wherever i'm going to do um the tuning so the next video will be us tightening up the last of the things for the turbo and uh all parts will have came in you guys will see that next probably next week or the end of this week and um yeah guys just stay tuned um make sure to tell your friends and family about this guys help me grow the channel a little bit more also made a tiktok it's at dame chancita so if you guys want to check that out as well guys i'm making some tiktok videos as well um those are going to be like more family oriented type funny like things so if you guys want to check that out do me a favor do that as well but like i said tell everybody everybody that likes cars or like your family your friends that are into cars about this channel and um that's gonna wrap it up guys for today so hope you guys enjoyed Hope you guys are excited as, or as excited as I am because I'm super, super, super stoked on this. I can't wait. Also, comment down below. If you liked it, comment down below how much horsepower you guys are going to think we're going to hit. And uh, without further ado, guys, we're going to wrap it up. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.